far-right party is hoping to make gains in the upcoming elections, capitalising on growing discontent over the worsening economy. Recent efforts of rebranding its message have left the British National Party in a stronger position than before. Al Jazeera's Mark Seddon has more. The far-right British National Party on manoeuvres in Barking East London, celebrating St George's Day, England's patron saint. At first glance, this motley crew may seem unlikely to foment a revolt against the ruling Labour Party in one of its old working-class redoubts, but in recent years, the BNP has taken 12 seats on the local council. Bob Bailey, a local BNP councillor, will be running for election to Parliament in neighbouring Dagenham. At the end of the day, it's basic economics. There's only so much money in the pot. We can't provide a roof over the head for you know, people who are from other countries. We have to start looking at the British people first. The BNP wants a halt to immigration and for foreigners to be repatriated, although it denies its policies are racist. The British National Party have been doing a lot better in this part of London in recent elections. They're now aiming to do even better in the European elections. Now they say their marching days are behind them. This is a family-friendly parade. But to their critics, underneath British National Party remains what it always was, a far-right, anti-foreigner organisation. It's a message that local MP John Crothers acknowledges has potency. There's a combination of forces that have all collided over the last few years, which make it a fertile ground for the far-right, who move in from outside, and then they scapegoat and pitch one part of the community against another, and they come out with big myths about what's happening in the community, and it's difficult to deal with. BNP leaders want to dispel images of violent confrontation from the past, Advice in the manual to activists reads, no naked torsos, no skin in cuts. It denies it has fascist sympathies, so in pictures of BNP deputy leader Simon Darby being given the fascist salute in Italy emerged recently, the BNP was caught off its guard. BNP leader Nick Griffin was recently acquitted of race-hate charges and is tipped to become the BNP's first Euro MP in June. Anti-fascist campaigners believe the party remains true to its fascist roots. Essentially, uh, it, it, its goals are pretty much the same as, as those of, of classical European fascism. It's to essentially see democracy as something that's completely corrupt. It sees um, uh, mixing together of people from different nationalities and backgrounds, ethnicities, as uh, inherently a bad thing. Local opinion here is sharply divided. Everybody has to leave. Whether it's here in Barking, Dagenham, wherever. Everybody has a right to leave. You know, I mean, most Arab countries and all that, uh, most of their people are coming over and they're causing trouble around the corners, around the pubs and that. <laughs> it may have looked very farcical and you turned out, but when it comes to elections, there are now very many more at home who may be prepared to put their cross in the box marked BNP. Mark Seddon, Al Jazeera, East London.